the developing story. One person is dead and a manhunt is underway after a brazen shooting in Albany today that happened on Delaware Avenue by Southern Boulevard. Now, we're going to take you live to the scene right now. It's where CBS 6's Brianna Suparty joins us live. And Bree, fill us in now. Tell us what happened all day today now, including right into tonight. Liz, right now, police are still clearing the scene. Um, you can see behind me that a tow truck has just arrived to haul out the victim's car. I'm going to step aside so you can see what's going on here. That blue vehicle there, that is the victim's car. He crashed it. We're told that the shooting happened in the parking lot across the street, across Delaware Avenue. Um, Chief Hawkins tells us the shooter was on foot, started firing at the victim who was in the vehicle. The victim tried to escape, drove across Delaware Avenue before crashing here at this stewards parking lot. And you could see the wrecked car there being hauled away. Now, unfortunately, the victim passed away on scene and the suspect fled on foot. More than a dozen shots rang out during a brazen daylight shooting in Albany Tuesday. A 21-year-old was shot and killed, and the man who pulled the trigger still at large. The brutal slaying happened just after 5 p.m. in this parking lot on Delaware Avenue. There was some sort of dispute that happened across the street from the Stewarts here at 485 Delaware Avenue. Albany Police Chief Eric Hawkins says the victim was in a vehicle when the altercation he had with the suspect escalated. The person that was on foot started firing shots at the person that was in the car, um, at, at the two people that were in the car. Uh, the, uh, the person that was driving drove away from uh, the area, and as he was driving away, the person uh, with the gun continued shooting at him. Um, that driver of that vehicle crashed his vehicle in the parking lot of the Stewarts. Witnesses tell me after hearing what they thought were fireworks, they saw the car crash. The bloodied victim exits the car before collapsing. Police say the shooter was seen running away from the scene. A manhunt is now underway to find him. Hawkins says he's a lighter skinned black male. Some of these individuals are simply not resolving these conflicts in a peaceful way. And they're resorting to extreme violence for seemingly innocuous type disagreements. Any gang involvement? Don't know. Don't know. The police chief describes the altercation as a domestic dispute. Bishop Avery Comathier, who founded Pastors on Patrol, responded to the scene. Here's his take on the violent disputes happening in the city. What I'm hearing, there is domestic, but it also is gang violence. It, it, it is uh, what they call uptown against downtown, but it's gang. And I know we don't want to say that. Uh, we don't want to set up a, uh, a panic button, but people want to know reality. Police have not released the identity of the man killed. Hawkins says that the occupant in the vehicle with the victim was uninjured, but I'm sure traumatized after today's event. Now, again, the suspect is still at large. Anyone with information is asked to contact police. Reporting live in Albany, Brianna Suparty, CBS 6 News. Liz. Hey, Bri, if... If in fact 12 shots rang out, and we know this is a very busy section of, of, of the city of Albany, was anybody else in danger, people on the street? Is, are, are police concerned that there, there could have been a lot more victims here? Yeah, Liz, actually there were 13 shots that were fired, and I did ask Chief Hawkins that question. He couldn't really answer that question. I'm sure that the investigators know, but he couldn't answer that question, but I'm sure if 13 shots rang out, yeah, a lot of people were in danger in this intersection here, Liz. I would think so. All right, Bree, thank you very much. Obviously, this is a story that's going to be uh, going on for some time. As a matter of fact, Albany Mayor Kathy Sheehan released a statement late tonight saying, quote, this brazen act of violence took a person's life and placed many more in harm's way. She went on to say that the Albany Police Department will use all resources at its disposal to find and arrest the perpetrator of this horrific crime.